So welcome back to Glory on the Rise. So I've got a bit of a confession to make. Uh, I've had a bit of a technical snag. I try to record two or three episodes ahead. Um, and in doing so, I did complete the season. However, on looking back on the video, I found out that the video was horrific, very stuttery, and pretty much unusable. So in place of that, we're going to do a bit of a catch-up uh, catch video from the last point that you saw all the way through to the uh, present day, which is the dawn of a new season. And there's plenty of drama to bring you up to speed with. So last time that we met was the Hearth Berlin game, which we won 1-0. So from here on in, let's take a look at what's been going on. The Bundesliga, often dominated by a team from the south. The Bavarians have fought off the battle from the team in the yellow and black. But a new power comes from the west. A new force rises from the Rhine. Welcome to Schalke 04. So our next match was up against Hanover at their place and we won 2-1 and here are the goals. And Hanover did take a lead with a cheeky goal from Hanek. But then we came straight back in it. Well, I wouldn't say straight back in it with our first goal there and our second one. Here it comes. I think it's uh, Dorado on the score sheet. So that was 2-1. Then we took on uh, Wolfsburg at our place. And we won 4-1. Wolfsburg opened up the scoring with the Brooks uh, goal from corner. But it was a Bergstahler show. He scored four. That was his first. Knoppenjanka really turned on the style in the second half of the season. That's Bergstahler's second. Here comes his hat-trick from Farman. Headed on to Gerhetzka. Crosses it in there, Bergstahler. With the third. And he wasn't done there. He wanted another. There's four. Following that 4-1 win. We took on Hamburg at their place and we lost 4-3. Hamburg taking the lead from the corner. In fact, doubling their lead. Thought it was doom and gloom. Actually got worse for us. 3-0 down before we started to play some football. In the Later on, Bergstahler again continues to find goal-scoring form. Here comes 4. No, a bit of a mistake. Dorado's in there. Makes it 3-2, I think. 3-3, uh, three, three, thanks to Montoya, but they had the last laugh. Second half goal for them, 4-3. After that defeat, we took on Hoffenheim and we won 1-0. The one and only goal came from one of the four players of this part of the season, Knoppelianka. After that, we took on Stuttgart and we won 4-2. Now, what a steal this fella's been, Dorado. Okay, opened up the scoring there. I don't know how many goals he got this season, but it's a whole bunch. But anyway, Hamburg got themselves, uh, sorry, Stuttgart got themselves back into it before we regained the lead. Once again, Dorado with the second of the day. Unbelievable partnership with him and Bergstahl. Looking forward to that next season. Knoppianka once again on the score sheet. This comes for Meyer crosses it in there and Cassiero with his one and only. Wow, well, did he get another goal? I think, well, anyway, it's the first goal of the, of the campaign for Schalke. But then Stuttgart made a little bit interesting right at the death. After that, we took on Leverkusen our place and lost 3-2. This being a big top-of-the-table clash. Leverkusen took the lead before Dorado restored all things on from the spot. Here come Leverkusen, no fall there, to regain the lead 2-1. Before Schalke retaliated once again, Dorado with his second 2-2. But penalty right at the death, won all three points for Leverkusen. Then another big clash up against Dortmund. We lost 2-1 at their place. So, Dortmund took the lead. They were pretty much dominant in this match. Schürrle with the opening goal before uh, this fella, I can't remember his name, uh, Karim Dembe made it two. But the man was on fire, was Dorado, bagged in his, I don't know, upteenth goal of the season. Then we got back to winning ways with a 4-0 thumping of Munchen Gladbach at our place. Bergstahl and Dorado linking up nicely once again. There's Sam Buesa. He was a... Uh, Free transfer, picked him up. He scored in his debut. Actually had a blinding uh, debut. Sets up uh, Bergstahler there. Here comes goal number three. Sambeza crosses over. Eventually comes to Dorado. That makes it three. Rap who wraps it up at the end? I think it's Knoppenjanka. No, he crosses in there. Bergstahler makes it all three points for Schalke. And then we took on Frankfurt away. It was the second. It was back-to-back 4-0 -back wins. And once again, Dorado being a key part of it. So is Knoppenjanka. He opened up the scoring there. He's involved in a lot of goals here. Sets up number two for Bergstahler. Second half, Bergstahler involved this time. Crosses it in there. Dorado taps it away. That's three. And wrapped it up on the night. Here comes Dorado. Taps in his second. And that's 4-0 for Schalke. Really picking up the pace. Then we took on Augsburg at our place. Not the most pretty game, but we won 2-1. In fact, Augsburg took the lead. 
Made a sweat a bit. Schmidt with the early goal. Right involved in the second. Eventually comes to Knopf Anka. He was on form. I told you that. Second half. We're looking for a winner. Super sub. McKinney taps it in there. 2-1. Now it was all to play for in the last game of the season. We could finish third if results went our way. But we took on Vader Bremen and we lost 1-0. And there is the one and only goal. Cruz involved. Sets up his buddy Johansson for the one and only goal. And Werder Bremen's 1-0 win. And that, folks, was the final game of the season. And where did that make us finish? Well, let's take a little look. Well, 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 we end up finishing third place in the Bundesliga on goal difference by just the one goal ahead of Leverkusen. It was very tight in the end with uh, three teams battling out for that third place finish. Uh, Bayern only finished two points ahead of us. So maybe, just maybe, we can push next season to try and push for those top two places. Maybe even a, a, a title push, but I'm going to keep that close to my chest. So after that, we signed a new deal with Schalke to keep us on for the next season. So we've tried to chip away through pre-season. As you can see, it's been a lot of fixtures. Uh, some were arranged by myself and some were arranged uh, by my assistant. But look at these, some of these impressive tallies here. 10-0, 9-0, 7-0. Uh, we've even took on some heavyweights in Atletico Bilbao and Liverpool. And in fact, the only defeat we had was against Madrid, uh, which was our second game. Um, but it's very, very interesting. I don't want you to too focus too much on the scorers because I'm going to run through some of the buys. There's been some interesting buys, some departures. But let's take a look at the transfer situation. So as you can see, a lot of ins and a lot of outs. Uh, in fact, we've actually made a bit of money, believe it or not. But let's just take a look at some of the players leaving. Uh, I didn't even know I had this guy. Bernard, Benedict Hervedes is a German international defender. Would have been ideal for us. But obviously the transfer was already set in stone before I got here. So he's left to join Juventus on a permanent deal. Coke, our right back of last season. Uh, 31 years of age, he's getting on a bit. I think he was on quite high wages. So I decided um, uh, to start fresh and I sold him to Inter for around about 2 million. Hamid Asamoah, uh, it's actually a player I brought in uh, from Norgesland. We'll talk more about that in a second, but I loaned him straight out. Jonathan Geis, now again, this is a player I didn't really use last season. He was on loan at Sevilla, didn't even know I had him. But I sold him to Hoffenheim for 4.7 million. Another guy I brought in on loan, Mikael Noldo Ingbrightson, a guy I'm looking to uh, to bring in for the future. In fact, there's a lot of uh, future buys. Uh, I'm trying to build something here. But anyway, move on. Daniel Calguri, again, a player that I reluctantly use. He's on high wages, but I've loaned him out to Darmstadt for the season. Um, yeah, he only he only made 12 appearances for me, but reluctantly. I didn't really didn't really want to. Uh, moving forward, Michael Langer, the, the backup goalkeeper, getting on a little bit. Sold him to Goffen, uh, Goffenberg in Sweden. So uh, we replaced him with another one. This fella is another one, I, uh, another youngster I brought in on loan. He's actually a little bit older than I thought he was, uh, formerly of Chelsea. Uh, there's the big one. It's a surprise. Bentaleb. Uh, they said he's world class. I don't really think he is world class, but he's very young. Uh, place for Algeria, national side. I sold him to Valencia. Again, he was demanding quite a lot of wages. Um, so I thought I would... Uh, it looks like a bit of a bit of a hit there. So I um, sold him to Valencia for just shy of 10 million. Uh, Jens Weber is a youngster, uh, 15 years old. I sold him to Ingolstadt, but I have a, like a buyback clause if he does make make it up to a, a stupid level. Then I sold Strambui, universal player who could play defensive midfield and also centre-back. So I'm to set it in for around about 3 million, was it? Nope, 1.5 million. Again, taking a bit of a hit, but uh, we do make, uh, we, we've done, we have brought in some quality replacements, so rest assured. Florian Kruger, another youngster, loaned him out to St. Pauli. Yera Ungeren, he's that Finnish fellow I brought in last season as cover, a left back. He's now joined uh, Nuremberg on loan. Uh, Calvin Stengs, now it's a mega, mega buy I bought. 7 million, but I've loaned him back to AZ Alkmaar for at least the season. It might be two seasons, I don't know. But he's one for the future, 19 years of age. Look at this, look at the potential this fella's got. Um, and he's a hot, hot property of the future. Uh, moving forward, who else have I got rid of? Luke Hemrish. Another youngster, loaned him to Bielefeld. Potentially, he could make the first team eventually. And Alessandro Schopf just sold him to Hoffenheim for 4.5 million. Again, a player that I was, you know, didn't really want to play him. But, you know, 
I, I gave him some games last season. Now, as for the players coming in, Adam Mayer from PSV Eindhoven, Dutch international, four caps. Not really a standout superstar, but he's a good, he's kind of a replacement for Shop, I would say. Didn't really get much game time with Eindhoven. Um, so, you know, maybe it's a chance for him to, to make a step up. Dan Aquino from Santander. Again, attacking midfielder, can also play up front and also play out wide, right? So, uh, again, universal. That's what I'm looking for in my in my players, as for statistics, not bad return. I know he was in the second uh, Segunda division, but he did smash in a few goals. So I'm hoping he can prove to be a key player for us. Takamuni Minimamo from Red Bull Salzburg. I picked him up really because of Miranda. Miranda was such a success from Red Bull Salzburg. And I thought he had a bit of a, a cheap minimum release. So I thought I'll activate it and bring him in. Uh, again, he can play across midfield. And uh, how much is he worth right now? Six million. So I think that's, a, that's a, a good bit of business. Still got a lot of years ahead of him. Uh, moving forward, uh, Thomas Kraft. Uh, I just brought him because I needed a keeper. And I preferred to go German. You know, I don't know why. But he will be back up to Farman at the moment. Then there was the big, big, big sign. Well, the first big signing, Christian Pavon. Has been rated highly on uh, online. I, uh, my online scouts, you know, um, they, they rate this, ch this chap pretty good and he's been on fire in pre-season uh scoring six goals six assists uh but anyway let's kick on bought in morton gamps pedersen if you're not aware of this it's the blackman rovers channel big fan of the gamps uh and i thought eh what the heck bring him in uh he's on uh, cheap wages and he could be a good mentor for this fella Mikael nord ingebreitsen i know he's on loan um but have pedersen around maybe he can talk some sense into the boy um he should be a hot prospect uh, looking forward to him developing in the future. Then Mohamed Asamoah, got his name right this time. He's now also on loan. Uh, but again, another hot prospect playing in Denmark. Snapped him up for 1.2 million. It might be a bit ridiculous money, but still it's one for the future. Also, like I said, picked up Christian Cuaves, uh, a youngster, 23 years old. Not really the, the player I was thinking he was, but, you know, he still is an option. He can play down the anywhere down the left-hand side. But he's on loan right now. And then Hatem Ben Arfa. I looked at him throughout the season, uh, but because he was on the transfer list, but he was on like a hundred grand a week. And I was like, I ain't paying that. That's bonkers. Well, I, I checked him on the freebies for, for just under 11 grand. That is, that is good money. So I brought him in. Hopefully he can still do a number and uh, provide some competition across midfield and also up front. Uh, I also brought in this fella, Ashley Young. That's right. Former Manchester United and England international, uh, looking for options down my right and left side hand side of defence, so he could play on either one of those. In fact, he's a bit of a utility player; he could play anywhere. So I'm looking for uh, him. It looks like he's on a downward spike with his training, so we would probably only get one good season out of him. He's only on a one-year deal, so he could be a starter. Then I got in this fella, Karim Rekikik, from uh, where did I get him from? I think it was in Germany, wasn't it? Yeah, Herfer Berlin. Again, they I think they suffered relegation. Yep, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll go sniffing around some of these relegated sides. He also had a minimum release. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to have that. And I brought him in. And then I brought another big, big, big signing. Douglas, defensive midfielder. Uh, young Brazilian. Uh, this guy's got the world of football ahead of him. Again, uh, I brought him because of his uh, previous club. Flamonice is where I got Dorado. So... I thought, you know, they might be providing some quality gems here. So I thought I'd do that. Then I took on Aaron Hunt on a trial and he did OK. And once again, a good backup option for midfield. Only on a one year deal. Uh, 31 years of age. His peak is probably past us. But you never know. Then I brought in Callum Chambers on loan. Quite an expensive loan, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure uh, how that's going to pan out. But anyway, uh, again, I was looking since Coke had left. I was looking for a new right back. And Callum Chambers sort of fit the bill. So maybe he'll compete with uh, Ashley Young, but also he might compete with this guy, Martin Casieres. Big, big, big signing. I did think I'd actually pull it off, but I did. Uh, he might play centre back with Miranda or Kira, or I don't know. I've not really figured out my starting 11. We're going to look at that in just one second. So he is a, a good option for right back and probably will be my right back. Uh, as forward, Calvin Stangs, we mentioned him earlier, real hot prospect. Um, I think I've only loaned him out for the season. I don't know. I can't figure it out, but he won't be here this season. Uh, which is good because they've got quite a lot of competition in his spots. And finally, just brought in Justin Cliver on loan from Ajax, the young uh, dynamic uh, midfielder. Again, he could play anywhere along these lines. I am still looking for a partner. While Bergstahler and Dorado will be my, my forwards, 
But if one of them picks up an injury, we're looking for another person to fill that void. So here they are in all their glory. Obviously, some players are out injured and unavailable at the moment. But this is the first team that's available. Because this is a bit of a catch-up video, we're just going to do the Steven Spielberg Spielberg game in the DFB Pokal. And then we'll return for the Hoffenheim, Dortmund and Champions League group stage, baby. So that brings me up to speed on the new format that I'm going to do for the Schalke season. We're not going to do what we did last season and show you each and every game. That does take a long bit of time. We're going to try and do three games per session and then uh, I'll do a few off camera and then bring you back for some heavyweight clashes, maybe the buying game or something like that. Uh, we're just going to go through, you know, because because it just takes so long. And uh, I do have a dog that does like to be very vocal and uh, I don't, I found it quite uh, uh, difficult to get the audio done uh, and I've had to redo audio a couple of times. So, but anyway, we'll just do the Spielberg this one and then we'll kick on uh, into the season. So here we are with the one and only game of this video, taking on Steven Spielberg, Spielberg in the cup, then on league with Bundesliga. So realistically, we should come out of this with a few goals. But I decided to mix it up a little bit with my team selection. We're giving some of these players their debuts. In fact, quite a lot of players getting their debut. Crafting goal, Young, Rekicic, Kera, Chambers, Douglas, Hunt, Gamps, Pedersen, Sambuesa, Maha or Maya and Clivert up front. So the only two players not making the debuts is Kera and... Mm, Sambuesa. So pretty much inexperienced 11. Let's get them all working on the same team sheet. So our hosts going with a 4-2-3-1 with Michael Schumacher up front. So let's go. Non-league football team Spielberg up against Bundesliga's third place side Schalke. Should be a walk in the park, right? Let's hopefully see. Chambers throw in. Douglas. Comes out to Pedersen as a strike wide. Pedersen tries to chip away forward. But Spielberg looking decent at the moment. Rakicic cleaning up. Young, Hunt. Pedersen, Mayer. Cliver turns and shoots. That's wide. Free kick for Sambuesa. His shot is parried. So far, Spielberg holding their own. Kraft boots it long towards Cliver, holds it back. Douglas slips forward. Big tackle. Domokowski for Spielberg, punts it long. Young chips it forward to Mayer. Get a cross in. Clivert's in there. Debut goal for him. Oh, won't stand though. Oh my goodness. And still, we're struggling to get a goal. And we've got injury to Mayer. Perfect start to the season. So I have to mix it up already. And Bolo coming on, do the try to do the job for us, basically. Because right now, this would be an embarrassment. Sambuesa, though, sets up Clive up. And Bolo's with him. Sambuesa to, uh, I don't know who had the final touch, but... But elsewhere, Richard Glabek only winning 1-0, courtesy of a penalty. So it's not all doom and gloom. Rekic to Douglas to Hunt to Mbolo. He's got Clive up with him. Sembueza. Chambers floats in across, but here comes Spielberg with Schumacher and Bell. Looks cleaned up. Here comes Young. Mbolo. Clivert. There we go. 1 0. Clivert on his debut. Nicely done. So, we're going to relax a little bit. Chambers, Clivert, Sembueza, Hunt. Pedersen slips in. Clivert for his second. There we go. Now we've really turned on the flare. Clivert. Obviously, son of Patrick Cliver, young Hunt, Douglas, and Bolo crosses it in there for uh, somebody, but Pitowski for Spielberg cleans up. Though here comes Schalke once again. Mullering punts it long. Kerr has there, cleans up. Schumacher has a, has a shot, but it's wide. Free kick. Pedersen's shot is blocked. Eventually get it back, though. Sambuesa crosses in there. Cliver with a hat trick. That's a great start for him in his Schalke career. Obviously, he's only here on loan.
Here comes Spielberg right towards the death. They're trying to get themselves a bit of glimmer of hope. Schumacher's shot is wide. There'll be one more highlight. Cliver tries to set up Mbolo, but no joy. Samboyza across it in there. Mbolo does get it in, though. And we are really in cruise control now. Heads must have dropped for Spielberg. And we are 4-0 up. So the second half will get underway. Can we get some more goals? The Vuvuzelas and the Spielberg crowd are going off. Free kick for Spielberg. Comes out to Schumacher. Makes Kraft stretch. Kraft will be looking to have a clean sheet. To maybe, just maybe, stake a claim for uh, first team honours. Not sure how or if or, you know, any. Oh, my gosh. There's, there goes his clean sheet. I was going to say, I'm not sure how many of these, these players will expect to be starting the first game of the season. Um, but Cliver has done himself no no harm. Neither has Sam Buesa. And I'm quite surprised that uh, big bad boy Morton's got an assist. One surprise for me is Douglas. He does look a little bit rusty. Oh, Cliver, you could have had a fourth there, boy. You could have had a fourth. Obviously, don't get yourself too excited about this because it is a non-league side. Pairs him in the corner. He'll get another go at it. Sets up Sambuesa and Bolo's shot is wide. But we should be tonking him, really. We should be, you know, seven or eight. But it looks like the pressure is off. Let's make some subs. Last 13 minutes. There we have it. Last 11 minutes of the match. Is there anything left in the tank? For either one of these sides. Young will take this free kick. Sets Makinito Goretzka. Trying to tease Cliver through there. Cleaned up. Hunt to Embolo. Goretzka loses it. Douglas cleans up. Comes to Cliver. He gets his fourth. And Schalke's fifth. Yo. Straight from kickoff. Another highlight. Head to clear. Goretzka. Cliver. Hunt. Embolo. To Goretzka, who's still in a Schalke jersey, I might add. But I don't know why. No one's made a bid on him. I was expecting to spend all that cash. But instead, I had to sell other players. I think we've invested well, Chambers. McKinney. It's cleared. Kerha. Douglas. Hunt. Here come. Spielberg. Cleaned up by Douglas. Goretzka. Chambers now makes some space. And Bolo's header. Just wide. He's only going to get the one for the day. And that should be the lot. Not a bad turnout. An away game. Uh, Clive up with four goals. So that's it off, folks. In the next episode, we will take on Hoffenheim and Dortmund. And our first Champions League game of the season. Obviously, I did mention it earlier. But we're going to do it a little bit different this season. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. The Pride of Edinburgh, featuring Hibernian. And Reach for the Summit. Featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.